guys, I'm Takara. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be using a couple of new items from the new Care Care Curl Essence line. So if you're interested in seeing how I like these products, then just keep watching. Okay, so I picked up these products from Sally's um, during their buy two, get one free sale. I was actually picking up another product from a different brand, but it was a mix and match type of sale. And I noticed that these products were brand new, like they had literally just put them out in my store and they were pretty inexpensive as well. So I wanted to try them out. I actually bought these before anybody had made any videos on them or uh, any of the sponsored videos came out. I hadn't heard anything about these products when I picked them up. So it was literally by happenstance. But I picked up the Curl Essence Moisturizing Curl Activator with Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Coconut Oil. And it says it's for natural hair types three through four. And on the side it says it's free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, silicones, phthalates, and petroleum or petrolatum. On the back it says it features Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil to lock in amazing moisture, leaving your hair soft, manageable, and healthy. It says it transforms days old frizzy hair into fresh looking, well-defined moisturized curls. The directions say to use as a moisturizer for dry hair or as a styling product on wash day when you want an ultra soft hold. Can be cocktailed with other styling products on wash day for type four coils that require maximum moisture. And I also picked up the Moisturizing Curling Jelly with Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Coconut Oil for natural hair types three through four. And it also says keep caring on the side. I'm guessing that's what the KC stands for because it says KC by Care Care. It says 5% of every KC purchase is reinvested to the community we serve up to $75,000. So that's really neat. The moisturizing curling jelly says it features Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil to lock in amazing moisture, leaving your hair soft, manageable, and healthy. It says it gives great hold and freeze free definition without flaking or leaving behind a chalky cast on the hair. It says it's alcohol free for superb moisture when setting curls and coils. The directions on this one says to use after cleansing, conditioning, and detangling hair. It says, while hair is soaking wet, apply the jelly to small sections from root to end and proceed to roll, rod, finger style, or wash and go. Sit under a warm hooded dryer or air dry. For even more moisture, mix in a little bit of moisturizing curling cream. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't notice that when I was in the store because I was trying to decide between picking up the curl activator, the leave-in conditioner they have and then they had a curling cream as well so I didn't know which one I wanted to pick up but I think I went ahead and picked this one up because it seems as though it was saying that it could be used as a one product wash and go product and it was also saying that it would still be moisturizing so um, I was thinking that the curl cream would be more of a styler and the leave-in conditioner seemed like it was kind of thick as well like the curl cream so yeah I went ahead and picked this one up I'm not going to be doing a one product wash and go with this um, I'm actually going to do one side of my head with both the curl activator and the moisturizing curling jelly and then I'm going to use the moisturizing curling jelly on one side by itself since it says it's moisturizing because I want to see if I can actually get away with doing a one product wash and go with this because you guys know I'm all about making my life simpler so if I'm able to skip a step on wash day by using this product by itself then I'm all about that. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use both products on this side of my head and just use the curling jelly by itself on this side of my head. This kind of smells like the As I Am original line to me. It has that same coconutty smell. It has like a lotion-y consistency. It's not super thin though. It's kind of thick in my opinion. It glides through my hair nicely. Um, 
the slip is okay. It's not anything to brag about. It does seem like it would be able to tame my frizz though, so it may be able to be used as a one product wash and go product. I'm gonna go back to this section and go ahead and get started applying the curling jelly. And it said to apply it to soaking wet hair. I've actually been preferring applying stuff to damp hair and not soaking wet hair because it takes my hair less time to dry, but I'm gonna follow the directions. <laughs> And of course I do have warm water in this bottle for anybody that is new. I have low porosity hair, so using warm water to style my hair with helps my hair to absorb products better. It does have like a jelly-like consistency as in the name. <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> Feels like it's gonna be lightweight. Hey, this feels really good applying it to the hair though. This has, from what I can tell, on top of the curl activator cream anyway, it feels like it has pretty good slip. Oh yeah, that feels really good. Definitely has good slip. Recently, even if products have good slip, I've been liking to just smooth the product into my hair instead of raking because my fingers can still get caught sometimes and plus smoothing the product in my hair kind of just makes the process go a lot faster for me so I'm literally just taking the product and smoothing it down my hair just like so and if it clumps too much um towards the ends I'll just literally like just take it and separate it just like that. Just like so. Not shingling, just separating. Fire seems to be like turned into like a watery type of consistency once it is applied to my hair. I don't know, it's odd. Interesting, but odd. All right guys, this is what the section is looking like with both of the products applied to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this section and then I will come back when I get ready to start on the side with just the jelly on. on this side is still pretty good but I do feel like it had a bit more slip on the side where I applied the curl activator first I also kind of feel like this side is clumping a little bit better than the other side did Up. It sounds like shampoo on this side when I'm applying it to my hair. It didn't do that on the other side, but it sounds like I'm applying shampoo to my hair. It's weird. Almost like it's foaming up like a mousse. Okay, here's what the side um, with just the curling jelly is looking like. Looks good. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the curling jelly to this section and then I will come back and show you guys my wet results overall. Okay guys, here are my wet results. This is the side with the curl activator and the curling jelly. And here is the side with only the curling jelly. As of right now, I'm thinking that this side that has both the curl activator and the curling jelly in it is gonna have more moisture, which it should because I used a moisturizer under the jelly. But I feel as though the side with only the curling jelly is gonna be more defined for some reason. I just, looking at them both wet, I feel like this side's gonna have a bit more frizz, but I do feel like overall, I'm gonna get a good washing up, but we will see. I will come back to you guys when my hair is completely dry and show you my results. Okay guys, here are my day one results. Okay guys, for whatever reason, this side is showing up better on camera than it actually looks in person. This is the side that I use both the curl activator and the curl and jelly on, but there is quite a bit of frizz inside. I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. I guess you can see a little bit here, but there is like frizz surrounding individual strands that are defined. So it just looks like frizzy right here in this middle area. This side, like I told you guys, my prediction has less frizz. It's a lot less frizzy than the side where I use two products at, which is kind of odd. And this side, both sides feel moisturized, first of all. They feel really good both sides, so I think I can definitely get away with using the curling jelly by itself. And I do actually prefer how the side with only the curling jelly turned out. But this side feels almost overly moisturized to me, like almost to where when you touch it, it's almost, it almost feels wet, like to the touch. And it feels kind of limp because there is like, you know how your hair feels when there's almost too much moisture in it. It feels almost limp. And I feel like that may also play a factor in the frizz that's inside here. It's not horrible by any means, but compared to this side, it kind of looks bad. And I think the camera is making this side look better than this side does, but I promise y'all in person, this side <laughs> looks quite a bit better than this side does. And like I told you guys, when my hair was wet, this side is also more clumped. See, you can see here when I pull it up like that, that there's a lot less frizz than this side when I pull it up like that, same way. This side is more separated, has more frizz. This side is more clumped and it has less frizz. Both sides are moisturized. This side kind of feels like it's overly moisturized. So I, I don't think I would use those two products together anymore. Um, when I'm using this product line, I think I would just go ahead and go in with only the curling jelly. Um, neither side dried with a crunch, had no type of crunch at all. There is a slight cast on certain pieces on both sides, but it's like a really soft cast. Like when you touch it, you can't even tell there's a cast, but if you look at it, you can see the cast that is created on my hair. As far as the smell is concerned, it does linger. I do still smell it in my hair. It's not super strong, but um, I do smell it. I don't mind the smell. It's not my favorite, but um, I don't dislike it, so it doesn't bother me. But yeah, as you can see, my hair is pretty flat. This is typical for day one hair. Um, I feel like this side, I don't know, seeing as it already has 
that amount of freeze in here. I don't know how long it's gonna hold up. I've also noticed some flakage on this side where I use both the curl activator and the curling jelly. I'm pretty sure the camera won't pick it up, but there are a few flakes. It's nothing that's super noticeable, so it's not a big deal, but I did just wanna tell you guys that I did experience a few flakes on this side here. I did not have any flakes on the side with only the curling jelly. All right guys, here is my day two hair. Y'all may be curious as to why I am coming back on day two and showing you guys my hair. And that's because I am about to wash my hair. I um, want my hair to look good going forward and it doesn't look bad, but I'm just not feeling the side where I use both the curl activator and um, the curling jelly. Like I told you guys earlier, there's like frizz surrounding individual strands that are defined so it just looks odd <laughs> but this side I do feel like it still looks good and I feel like this side would have held up pretty well so um, if I revisit the products I'm definitely going to do my entire head with only the curl and jelly and not use those two products in combination but I will say the curl activator is very moisturizing as well I would recommend using it with maybe more drying gels so yeah that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one bye